Hello, thanks for tuning in to Blast One Troubleshooting. My name is Vince Pizzat, the lead in Blast Fab. Today we're going to go over a pressure hold pot. The three main components are a solenoid, an auto air valve, and the Thompson valve. The solenoid controls the auto air valve as well as the Thompson valve parallel. When troubleshooting a blast pot, the first place you should start is a solenoid. The solenoid would control air supply, abrasive supply, and everything else that goes along with the pot. It's the first step in troubleshooting. What the solenoid does is the air supply comes in from the inlet, supplies through the brass strainer which cleans the air, goes to the solenoid as well as to the first lead of the twin lines. From the first lead of the twin lines, it goes to the dead man handle and then returns back once one would hit his trigger to the return. When the return is hit, it moves the piston over, which allows air to flow through the solenoid. The solenoid then supplies the auto air valve as well as the Thompson. Issues that indicate that the solenoid may be bad. Um, last nozzle stuck open, um, no abrasive, air only. Uh, several things can do it. The first step to troubleshooting a solenoid is making sure it's even working. So when you hit your dead man handle and you let off, you should feel a puff of air coming through the muffler on the back side. That allows you to know that the valve is actually opening and actually closing. Secondly, the second thing you can go through is take off the air out from the solenoid, which will not allow the auto air valve or the Thompson to open and only allow the solenoid to actuate, which makes it safe to do in the field. By taking this off, no air should be coming out of the outlet. When you hit your dead man handle, air comes back through the return, opens up the valve, and should allow air to come out through the outside of the solenoid. What this does is tells you that the solenoid is working properly and you know that that step's good. If air does not come out of the solenoid, the first thing that you should check is your dead man handle. Make sure it's working properly. Take off one of either the supply or the return and test the handle independently. If that works fine, and you still don't have air coming out the bottom side of the solenoid, there's odds are that there's debris inside the solenoid which is gumming it up and not allowing it to move, which happens over time and is very standard. Easy ways to fix this are to take off the four screws, pull the internals out of the solenoid, clean it off, replace O-rings as needed, or simply buy an Axiom replacement kit to go with it. Next, we're going to move to the auto air valve. If we're sure the solenoid's working properly, let's move to the next step. What are some indications that the auto air valve is working improperly? Blow by air out of the nozzle, no air at all in the blast stream, only abrasive, hose is chugging and doing weird, funny stuff. Uh, troubleshooting it actually is very, very simple. So, say for instance, your hose is laying in the sand, blaster's not blasting, trigger is not engaged, and there's still blow by air coming out of the nozzle. An easy way to tell if it's the auto air valve is to simply take the choke valve from the on position to the off position. If it stops the air, you know that the auto air valve is bad. By stopping the supply, stop the issue, you got your valve. If that does not stop it, what are some other things to look for? You would most likely go to your metering valve, but there's still some things you can go to with the auto air valve. And if you do determine that the auto air valve is bad, you need to replace it. It's indication that things are getting ready to fail and it's going to cause issues in the field. So if we know our auto air valve is good, we move on to the Thompson valve. What are some indications that the Thompson valve is failing? Uh, customers will call me and talk about how their blast nozzle just keeps blasting when they stop. But there's not air in it, it's just abrasive and it's chugging really bad. Or when a blaster picks up his blast nozzle after it's been sitting there for a minute, hits a trigger and it just chugs and slugs all kinds of abrasive out, what's causing that? Uh, some more indications are blow-by. Uh, blow-by is when your nozzle's laying in the sand, say the blaster's not blasting, he's on brake, and you can look and you'll see where it clears a little path. You have air constantly blowing out even when you're not hitting the trigger. That's an indication of premature wear on the valve or normal wear. So if you shut off the union in valve, gate valve here, and shut it like this, completely off, you shut off the supply to the Thompson valve. What that does is shuts down the whole system from leaking at all. So when you shut this gate valve, if the air stops 
blowing out of the end of the nozzle, you know right there it's a Thompson valve. Odds are, if the Thompson valve is filling your hose full of abrasive, or it's never shutting down, it's stuck open. It's a good indication that you should take it apart and check out things. So we've gone through the solenoid, the auto air valve, and then got to the Thompson. If you can troubleshoot this and know that this is working properly, your solenoid, then troubleshoot your auto air valve and know that it's working properly, you only have one valve left to suspect, and that's your Thompson valve. So this is troubleshooting at blast one. Hopefully this helps you in the field when you're on the fly and you can't get a hold of anybody late at night. But if it's not late, give us a call and we'll absolutely talk you through it. 6.5, pressure volt, Thompson valve pot, troubleshooting.